If you love building in Roblox SCP-3008, then this is the video for you. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of the best bases that you absolutely need to build in the Infinite Ikea. For those who need an intro, howdy, Raid here, welcome back to an all new video, and I just want to say that these bases help tons of people survive, and hopefully they can help all of you guys as well. I'm going to be real with you guys, it took me so long to find a cafeteria just for this video, but here we are, we have one of the best plots in the game just because of the amount of food it has. There's so many different variations of food, and a lot of people used to build cafeteria bases. I myself used to always build them just because of how helpful they were, but the thing about cafeteria bases is that if you build your base on a cafeteria, every player will know that it's a cafeteria. Unless you want to cover this whole entire base in pallets, which is completely possible, it'll take time, but it's definitely possible, you might have lots of issues with players, because if I built a small base right here, a lot of players will come inside half the time, take stuff apart, take what food they need, and run. What I'm trying to tell you guys is that building sneaky cafeteria bases is the best plan of action. If you actually get some furniture and try to go up here, let's say it's like your first night surviving, take a few pieces of furniture, build yourself a nice little ladder, and get on top here. You can build a really nice mini base up here, and when it turns Monday or Friday, you go down those stairs that you made, grab some some meatballs, grab some burgers, you know, don't be afraid, don't be shy. You practically own the cafeteria. And then just go back to your base and if you really wanted to, put some food back in there. This base isn't like griefer proof, it's actually more like survival proof. If you quickly need a base, you can just jump up here and not too many employees are gonna get up to you. But if you want a base that doesn't really grab people's attention, you can literally make a 4x4 box with a roof on the cafeteria plot and look Look at that, we are safe for the night. When you want to leave, you just take this out, put it back in, grab some food, bring the food back to your base, and you're chilling. Now, if you got this far in the video, go comment pizza in the comments down below, and subscribe to the channel as fast as you can for more Roblox SCP-3008 content like this. Now, the sneaky part about this is that not too many people are interested in wooden huts. Most griefers really don't care about that type of stuff. Players in general and griefers, when they're looking for specific specific items want to go to like bigger bases. Pretty much bases where they know they can find lots of food or game cubes. But nobody will expect you to keep tons of food and a bunch of valuables in a small little wooden hut. Now if you don't like the cafeteria base, this is like the mini cafeteria and it actually has a good amount of food. Now food responds here on Mondays and Fridays as well. You've got two pizza boxes and two plates of hot dogs. I just want to say these are some of the worst hot dogs I've ever seen. I'm from Chicago and we actually hate ketchup on hot dogs. We put a lot of different stuff into our hot dogs, but this, this is like a disgrace. This plot is definitely a lot more discreet than just building a base on a cafeteria. A lot of people don't really know this plot as well as like the cafeteria plot. Let's be real, most griefers are pretty dumb and I just found a GameCube absolute dubski. So if you cover this plot really, really well, the average player won't remember that this is a food plot, so they won't even go into your base at all. This isn't going to stop griefers like 100%, but this is going to save you while also keeping your base a little bit sneakier. Let me actually show you guys how easy it is to cover a base completely. I can just use any random item from like these tables to beds. I'm actually going to use couches for this one. Couches are really, really good for building different things just because of their size. These things are absolute behemoths. Four couches will probably cover this entire wall. And and if you have a lot of couch plots around you, you're pretty lucky because these have a ton of couches on them. Just look at how neat the walls are when you use like a 0.5 snap to grid range with building these couches. It looks amazing and your base looks very discreet. Once this whole thing is covered, I'll show you guys how it looks, but until then, it's back to building.
So look at that. It's super easy to create an absolute fortress if you have just a lot of different furniture around you. The base itself doesn't even look super clunky. It kind of looks like an old school castle. And I also added this ground slide door, which I made pretty wide to make it look a little nicer. And if you're wondering why this base has no roof, it's because I wanted to tell you guys that you don't only need to have a roof out of coffee tables. Remember that you can make a good looking roof out of any material. In this in this case, if you really wanted to, you could grab a bunch of TVs and just cover your roof in them. It would take a while, but it would definitely be worth it. But if you're not a fan of pizzas and hot dogs, there's also the little like mini cafe plot. This plot is definitely not as sneaky as creating that behemoth over there, but it's actually a bit more aesthetic. The foundation of the base is this glass ceiling area, and you already have it pre-furnished. So if you grab a few walls, let's say we get some pallets, I don't see any pallets around me, but that's all right. We can just use this kitchen table, for example. These kitchen tables are super long. You can either place them vertically or you can rotate them horizontally and stack them on top of each other. And if you're the type of player that really likes the inside of the bases rather than the outside, you can just flip the kitchen tables so that these legs are sticking out. It really looks like a nice looking medieval defense, but the inside of the base just has this amazing smooth wooden texture. Now the base is officially finished. This is what I was talking about with the coffee tables just like extra glass windows once again another ground slide door but on the inside of the base everything just looks so clean the windows aren't the craziest but you definitely have like a nice view that protects you from the outside and of course you got your ice cream if you actually get more food you could probably put it right here and just use this as like a food storage area but I actually wouldn't recommend doing this because anybody that runs by can see that you have food so it's not really gonna end up well for your food. But the furniture in this base is absolutely amazing. So I did add a few lamps, but I also turned it night to show you guys how nice this base actually looks in the night. This pre-placed furniture looks amazing for this base, but if you don't like it, you can always just like remove it and use it for the walls. Now for this plot right here, I'm actually throwing it in to tell you guys what not to build if you want like a base with food. So this plot usually has about three cookies. It's pretty much the worst amount of food you can get anywhere. Now eating cookies in the game does give you 8 energy and 8 hunger, but at the same time if you can get ice cream and pizzas and hot dogs and other plots, why even build a base in this plot? The answer to that is the aesthetic. This is probably one of the nicest looking plots in all of 3008. So if you want a really nice looking base, you gotta build it right here in this plot. Another issue that I always have when trying to build something here is the fact that this roof isn't like an actual roof roof. 3008 employees can easily jump through these, so I highly recommend you actually fill these in with TVs. Also, if you're a fan of Scrub Daddies, they can actually be found right here, right next to this like random pool of grease or blood or whatever this is. By the way guys, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like this, click on that playlist that just popped up on your screen. You're an absolute chat if you do, but it's been Raid and I will see you all tomorrow.